Welcome back, my duelist friends. Happy Thursday. Finally, I'm not stuck in a video game, but we're back to the real world-ish. Time for some tabletop RPGs. You guys can tell I've got some dice sitting here. So we are going to be adding something to our Yu-Gi-Oh deck as far as our Yu-Gi D&D. So just recap, we have added a handful of monster cards into the game. Um, and we started adding effects, whereas we showed like different ways to use the Swords of Revealing Light last time. Last time, oh my goodness, my voice. And uh, we created a variant of the Gravity Axe Grawl that could be used as a legendary unique weapon. Today, I want to give you guys a Yu-Gi-Oh card that can be used to make many weapons. So this time, our base was the Lucky Iron Axe. Now, this thing's had a few print runs. Uh, believe it or not, it's one of the few cards from the past. Well, maybe not a few, but it's one of the, uh, the like little equipped cards that you could get as an ultimate rare. Um, the, like back in the day when like ultimate rare could have just been any rare out of the booster. Um, but it was always a fun little equipped card in Yu-Gi-Oh. So what it did was the equipped monster gains 500 attack, which is nice and standard. And then one this face of card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card of effect and sent to the graveyard. You also get to draw a card. So, it was lucky because you got to draw or you got to hit your opponent. Now, how are we going to change this? Well, guys, I got the Lucky Iron Insert Weapon of Choice. And yeah, sorry, I had two different pens while making this. So, it is a wondrous weapon. I don't know what type of rarity I wanted to make it. Because honestly, the way I was thinking was I was going to introduce a blacksmith in order to make these weapons. Um, that this could be something that one or more of the team members could actually get for my players. Um, so I didn't really assign a weapon rating to it, but it is going to require attunement. It'll be a plus two attack roll. Um, so uh, whereas like you'd normally add your strength or dexterity plus your proficiency, uh, we're going to add another two to it just to make it better and a two damage of an appropriate typing. So again, I think it's like, I think daggers are like a D6. Um, I know that with my Morning Star and the, the one I'm playing, it's a D8. Um, and it changes from weapon to weapon. Um, so whatever that is, plus then your additional two damage. And then again, like a, like a knife would be piercing. Uh, sword would be slashing. Insert your damages that way. And then time for the magical portion of this. So I wanted this weapon to have five charges. So let's go ahead and grab one of our dice. So this equipped item, once attuned, will have five charges. Um, and they may be used uh, based on your attack roll. So let's get our d20. Let's hope for a one. Okay, let's pretend that five is a one, all right? So do, do, do. Yeah, cool. We rolled a one. Normally, you just fumble. Or we could expend a charge from our iron weapon. And what we get to do is basically invoke the lucky skill from the halflings, where we will then get to re-roll. And boom, there we go. We got an 11, maybe that was better. Additionally, I wanted this to be super lucky. If you get an 18 or a 19, you can go ahead and you can spend two of those charges. So again, from four to two. And now we're gonna treat that as a nat 20, so this way you get your critical. And then again, I don't know how they're going to play it on your tables. Your DM might be like, critical is double damage. Um, crit fail is you just absolutely wildly miss. And then sometimes there's a chart for that. Sometimes it's just down to uh, DM discretion. Um, and then what I want you guys to do afterward is this will gain 1d4 worth of charges back at sunrise. Now... Just real quick, why do I keep moving this off? It's a distraction to me. Um, why do I always use Sunrise when I'm making my card effects right now? Um, simply put, um, a lot of like mythologies and lore, um, they've always said that this the morning sun is what can recharge things. So instead of saying on a long rest, I like the morning sun. Because again, depending on the campaign that you're running, the morning sun might come. That might be more advantageous to you, to your players, to the story that you all as a group are attempting to tell by allowing it to occur at that point. So again, if you're doing something where you have to resist through the night 
and you your your team uh they get to the village uh it's like eight o'clock at night in in game and they have to last till the break of dawn this will essentially give them the ability to use their item or their spells or what have you and then once dawn breaks if there's one last push one last enemy maybe that's when you have uh your boss character scripted to come in maybe not the bbeg maybe just another type of big bad um and then you know they get their charges back they're not exactly healed but to get some of your luck charges back for this or the gravity x growls um gravity effect that i wrote for it um Getting to roll, getting these effects recharging by the sunlight is a good idea. And again, this is another way to maybe make your players think twice before wasting them too soon if they're going underground. Because if you're underground, you don't see the sun. If you don't see the sun, the sunrise fails to restore your charges. So again, if you're doing like a, like a, I don't know, Lord of the Rings, like a Mines of Moria, um, type of underground um, subterranean adventure uh, where it's just going to be like, we need to get under there. We need to chase them down. They took they took our friend. They, they took the local uh, prince or princess, uh, the local merchant's son, whatever it is. Um, there's a reason that you have to go down there and it's supposed to be arduous. And using this wording for me and my campaigns um, just allows me to just add that bit of extra flavor. Again, this is a guideline, my friends. Please take this, change this, make this work in your campaigns. And again, I do do this value thing just in case like sometimes there's like a you might be able to just straight up buy one. Um, it's good to have like a baseline of value for your weaponry. Because again, if, if they're going to sell it to somebody like a king or a uh, very wealthy merchant, somebody who might have that type of expendable money, um, they also need to know they're not going to get the full 2,000 gold from that item, but it is worth 2,000 gold. So if they ever have to buy it back, they know about where that value is going to be. Guys, I'm going to hold this here for a second while I go over the last bit because you guys might pause, you might screenshot, you might just take notes while I'm talking. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um couple of things, if you want to support the channel, handful of ways we could do that now. Um, first, the traditional method, like, comment, and subscribe if you feel that we've earned it. And of course, this uh, this includes giving me a challenge or maybe there's a card you'd like to see added to D&D from Yu-Gi-Oh! This is the type of video to leave that comment on. Um, additionally, if you guys would like to help support us more directly financially, um, you can stop by our buy me a coffee. Um, it will be in the description of the video. It's also on the uh, the about us page on YouTube. It's just a nice way um, to directly add to our budget because again, sleeves cost money, cards cost money, play mats cost money. Unfortunately, just about everything we do around here is going to cost something. And any any little bit that you want to, that's fine. It's much appreciated. Outside of that, I just want to thank you guys. Seriously, I hope that you have a great day. Enjoy this. That is my gift to that community. Um, you guys have a lovely day. Hopefully, hopefully we get the news tonight or early tomorrow that the Speed Duel set is in. And uh, we'll be able to get working on that. So until then, you guys have a lovely day. See you later.